Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the black body node. Let me go ahead and start this example. Basically, this is our output when we are using the black body node itself. Now, what is the black body node? Well, this article based on Wikipedia, basically it's a form of radiation where it's going to be emitting light on a Kelvin scale based on the value of the heat on the Kelvin temperature scale with a reddish, well, technically black at zero. And it's going to increase all the way up to 10,000 here where it's got this bluish white. And primary uses, as you can see, is things like in lava flow or the surface of a sun. So that's its primary use for it. Basically, for Unreal Engine, it's to give you a physically based realistic color output based on the input you put in. So if we were to put in a zero as the only input for our black body, we're going to get back a black. That's our zero value for the zero temperature. Now if we put in a 3000, 3000 Kelvin into the black body node is going to give us back this orangish almost white color. If we bump this up to 10,000, for example, whoops, that's a thousand. Let's try another zero there. Well, anyways, there's a thousand, which is giving us that reddish color as we're going from black to reds to orange to whites. And if we put in a 10,000, we should get a very bright solid white. Now you're not really going to see much of a output here when you're outputting directly to the missive. The biggest advantage of this is when you're using it with textures, you're outputting it into the emissive color. Sorry. You're not going to get much of a visual appeal if you're outputting just to the base color. It's when you pipe it into the emissive as well, based on the intensity of your Kelvin value, that you're going to get your effect. So if I'm to take, and I'm piping our 4000 Kelvin value into our black body through a lerp, using a texture sample as the pattern, Basically, it's going to output this orangish color in the white parts, and it's going to output black in the black parts. Let's unhook the emissive so we can see this. And we're going to get a, you know, kind of like a bright, broiling, very hot texture. Now, if we pump our emissive in as well, because we're output, we're putting 4,000 in our very bright values, we're going to get a very bright emissive texture. So it gives us like the surface of a sun or something like lava. If we were to actually take the temperature of lava, which I think on the document was 1200 or 1700, something like that, you're going to end up with something similar to this. We get a nice little lava flow. As soon as, there we go. A nice little lava flow look. So that is what our black body node does. It basically takes an input of a constant value and outputs the physically based value of the black body value based on the input Kelvin texture. Input Kelvin value.